I'm taking a picture of her and she's taking a picture of me. Okay. This looks like a, a play. <laughs> they've had plays like this where they've brought all the scenes on. Then we very slowly, very carefully began to piece together the fight. You know, we did drilling, which is just a, you know, just a bump, 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 just kind of a certain kind of exercise. And then we kind of pieced it together. Every day before the before performance, we have what's called a fight call, where we go through um, at like 40% speed, which is like less than half speed, like three, and we do it. Then you, the audience, would not be able to see what's happening. If any of you have ever seen um, a true fencing match on TV or something, you, you don't see anything. It's just like a little look, and that's the end of it. You know, so we like to be as theatrical as we can be. So this, this is basically the shop. The shop area as well is, we'll be walking past it in a minute. Um, over here is stored some of Tart. We, we can even sneak back there and watch the show. And so they work here all the time. It's like, um, and dedicated basically as this is actually perfect because the, the iron tongue at midnight has struck 12. That's exactly what happened last night, except one of the actors just hit the bar and the bell. It's about the same thing. So, um, green stage, green show kind of, that's they kind of talked about it. Replica because there's not such a thing, but it's pretty close. The BBC in 19... 19s, I don't know what it was. Uh, it's 81. called All the World's a Stage. What? 81. 81. Yeah. Perfect. They they chose this theater to to photograph their uh, section on uh, Shakespearean theater and in their All the World's a Stage thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the costume shop. The most important center of the festival. It's part the biggest, you know, it's the biggest apartment. The, and there are three, there's three plays that are done in the Adams. I know them all, you know, what they do, everything in is all in that. Right now it's, um, is where we get our look for the show. And that happens May to September. We stay all season long. Um, basically, uh, basically just to kill time to get uh, the cast list. Um, and once we do get that cast list, it's the first three days the actors are going through their auditions. What we do is we make a big chart, and that's on the wall. And right next to their name, we have their, their hair color and their head size. Hair color is for um, if they're not wearing a wig, but they do have facial hair, then we can match the facial hair to their own hair color. And the head size is if we need to put them in a wig, we have their head size so we can put a wig to them. Um, it also has shows that they're going to be in, and unfortunately, so you can take a look at it. And basically what we do is we tie hair um, through that lace with a ventilating needle. And a ventilating needle is sort of like a very small fish hook. It has a barb at the end, and it bears that. Um, the knots get progressively smaller as we work up, and that's called our blend line. We start with about four hairs. So there's four hair knots along the very bottom, and we work up into a blend line of actual tying one individual hair through that lace. <laughs> and that's the time that we spend doing it. Mustaches over here in the ends. We have 14 wigs, um, three lace fronted wigs, five falls, and one two head. And that manages. Um, and basically, what that gave us was a custom fit for the years. And it helps is we get a wig in from a wig company. Um, we'll go ahead and take off the first inch and a half to two inches of the, of the hairline. And then what we'll do is 
thin the wig out, because it usually has about three times as much hair as we need in it. And then sew the, the ventilating lace on the inside, and then go ahead and take the hair that we pulled out and re-ventilate a more natural looking hairline. You can tell them. the goatee, the mustache, the eyebrows, and the top knot, plus the ventilator fall. And since he's already bald on top, <laughs> what we do is we just pin in the fall around. We do have some other fall degrees of uh, experience. Um, we have some that are still in college that haven't done this before. Um, some are licensed hairdressers. I picked it up here, just learning how to bend my feet and getting experience that way. That is so great. Now, you didn't have to perm anybody's hair this year, did you? We didn't. We didn't perm anybody's hair this year.